All right, so most of the hamster-related content in Felicity from Worcestershire's latest care package to us here in the Interstellar Arcade 5555, where everything sounds like Daft Punk and looks like Galaxy Express 39, was covered in the strange substance known as Zoo. And most of it was actually in English, which kind of threw me. Then I learned that apparently this game, Kung Zoo, very punny, features hamsters with rocket launchers and ray guns and fierce jab-uppercut combinations and double jumps and katana and any number of other offensive weapons of pointiness. And then I learned that somehow this all comes together into a basic, but by every measure competent, action platform with action hamsters. <laughs> So for everyone who wasn't roped into buying one or more of these things for children in the Christmas 09 shopping season, apparently they're based on a line of motorized hamster toys that, unfortunately, fall outside the purview of Hamster Thursdays. However, this Nintendo DS game certainly does, so I'll go with what I was able to glean from the game. A half dozen action hamsters with optional super armor attachments, sold separately, have to save the world after four of their comrades, the ones you don't pick when you start the story mode, our brainwashed and an evil force makes off with the Tablets of Zoo, which could apparently drain the happiness from the world. I have no idea how the heck that works, but it serves as the impetus for handing anthropomorphic hamsters very dangerous weaponry and sending them out into 20 or so stages full of enemies, collectible blue orbs, and ficuses. Or will that be Fisi, which contain said collectible blue orbs for whatever reason? It's really just your standard run and jump and slash platforming action with some advanced techniques like spinning platforms and double jumping and with the added bonus of being able to poke the tablet looking thing on the touchscreen to engage that shiny armor mode which provides a completely different set of attack choices. While the game is fair to middling in terms of complexity, it's by no stretch of the imagination difficult. Enemies are rather few and far between, most drop health-restoring pie slices, though who's supplying these hamsters with pie is beyond me, and most of your attacks leave your hamster warrior with invincibility frames for, oh, about a week and a half. Charging enemy coming up fast, whiff a punch into the air and it'll pass right through you. Yeah, it might not make for the most intense fights, but the relatively large stages and multitudinous collectibles mean the focus is solidly on exploration more so than just hacking and slashing your way through a stand of enemies. Still, what hacking and slashing there is certainly makes for an acceptable diversion from the usual myopic hamster raising we usually get here on Hamster Thursdays, so I'll gladly take it. High-pitched crazy frog sound effects and all. And now I want pie. 